the World Cup, a glorious spectacle where everyone stops ripping each other's throats out on the geopolitical stage to gather as FIFA rapes a country of their economic capital. Last time, we went to Brazil, where the country bent over backwards and flung its country into political turmoil to become a meme at the hands of Germany. It was glorious. Now we head to Mother Russia as we prepare for more boasting and laughter. Be warned, I am a total noob at football, so if I fuck things up, well, that's honestly par for the course, isn't it? Ah, Poland, you misfortunate bastards. This time you weren't going to be someone's bitch in Russia. You were going to reclaim your glorious empire, only to choke and lose consecutive games in the first stage. Dead last in a group you were expected to qualify in. Let's see how their fan base is taking it. You fucked up big time, yeah? And trust me, brother, we're gonna do you when you're back to Poland, yeah? We hate you. From myself and from all the fucking Polish people, you know? We fucking hate you. It got so bad that the manager sacked himself in shame. Where's the revolution when you need it? What the hell is it with Germany arrogantly walking into Russia and getting stonewalled by inferior competition? From the way they were talking, Deutschland was all but a lock for repeating as World Cup champions. When you lose to Mexico despite controlling possession, there was a problem. There was some faint hope as you beat Ikea land at the last minute, but then they proceeded to shit the bed against goddamn South Korea. Brazil laughs heartily and celebrates your demise. Something about World Cup winners shitting the bed the next time around, I don't get it. Egypt, congratulations! You made your first World Cup in almost 30 years just to embarrass yourself on an international scale. The only guy that makes your squad relevant is pissed and demands change. Have fun trying to appease him as your football team experiences Arab Spring. This is what you get for practicing in fucking Chechnya. I'm still trying to figure out how Japan advanced past Senegal in group stages. Apparently, since they had fewer yellow cards, they advance. Why not just play an extra game or settle it with a fight to the death? The latter option always works out, you know. Thank God I don't have to see that pathetic excuse for a US soccer team be trotted out to get blown the fuck out in group stages. We shall settle for Panama and Costa Rica getting blown out and their fans treating it as an honor to be there. This is why you don't lose to fucking Trinidad, kids. Speaking of failures, where the fuck did Italy go? If you look in the distance, you can still glimpse the smoldering ruins of Argentina's football team, a squad that gave us laughter by transforming into one of the biggest shit shows in the group stages, yet barely escaped despite the mockery of a Messi that couldn't score on a prostitute. Come the round of 16, they couldn't help but stumble upon themselves as France lords over them thanks to the power of Mbappe. Thus ends one of the greatest wastes of talent that Argentina has ever experienced. This may have been Messi's last World Cup and Mascherano has already announced he's fucking off. Maradona flicking everyone off that one game, he was symbolizing how the country feels about their performance. Watch it burn. Uruguay and Portugal, the scrappy crew looking to shut down a game against a team in desperation mode to win with Ronaldo scoring in batches. This is when Uruguay realizes that they can actually finish the chances they set up and snags away a chance at a World Cup for a generational talent. I'm more surprised that Portugal didn't try it after what they felt were several missed calls, but they still had their chances and failed. Even if Ronaldo may not be back in 2022, you can at least say that you aren't Argentina. Even though Argentina and Portugal may have suffered early defeats, Spain was begging not to be left behind. When a team sacks their manager days before the World Cup because he got thrown a shitload of money by Real Madrid, there are problems afoot. Fortunately, they survived the group rounds, only to lose a nail-biter to host nation Russia. Somewhere, Catalonia celebrates in unison as their hated mother country falls to a rather mediocre squad on penalty kicks. So much for your title ambitions. In other news, Franco is still dead. This failure cannot be said for Denmark against Croatia. This was a pretty damn good game that it was unfortunate that one team had to lose. Even with great saves and tension that could rival Hamlet, Denmark was bested by the three Lions. You can't be too ashamed, Denmark. Even if it's a painful way to go out, you should hold your heads high. Mexico, well done. You still can't make it past the round of 16. May you bribe Landon Donovan to try and coerce America to root for your cause. At the very least, you allowed us to mock Germany, so you always have that to boast about. Unfortunately for you, it was Brazil that built the wall and stabbed you with an ice pick. Better luck next time, compadres. Maybe you can inflate your team's abilities again in four years. God damn, Japan, you couldn't have had a better start. Up 2-0 in a game you weren't supposed to even compete in. Belgium is sure to be panicking. At least until they come back and tie this baby up in relatively painless order. Regardless, this is a truly competitive game with both sides putting up a spirited fight. Extra time is sure to be upon us. Heart Dagger. Who knew that overachieving could be so horrifically painful?
Sweden and Switzerland are the unlikely foes battling in the trenches, rarely gaining traction in no man's land. Who'd have thunk I'd be making a great war reference in regards to neutral the country and Ikea land? Let's end this awkward siege with a quick deflection from Sweden to allow them to squeak into the round of eight. Kind of a Cinderella run for them, no? It's time for everyone's favorite comedy. That's so England. Look at how these boys underperform on the pitch at every turn. A team they were expected to stomp in Colombia grinds them to dust like a delicious coffee bean. They even tie it up just before stoppage. That is just so England. In what ways are they going to choke away yet another World Cup? The international stage is sure to get a kick out of... England won? Huh. Well, I'll be damned. France may think they have an easy road ahead of them, but Uruguay is going to have a few surprises in store. Their top striker is out for the game. Well, let's forget about that little boasting, shall we? At least make it painless for them as you smother their dreams out of consciousness. Daybreak, Brazil. The entire country and its diehard football fans have usurped Germany's arrogance. Their schoolyard bully was humiliated. The World Cup is all but theirs for the taking. At least until the football gods got wind of their posturing. They were being nice earlier, but now they must suffer another humiliating defeat. To Belgium. The favelas burn throughout the day as Belgian colonialism is renewed with haste. By the way, how does that serving of karma taste? <laughs> It is another glorious day for the Brits as they cut down the feel-good story of Sweden. You Scandinavians may have had a good run, but it is time for the insufferability of glorious England to emerge. It's coming home, boys! England prevails! Did I mention it's coming home? You bet your sweet ass it is. There you go, Russia, hanging in there against a formidable squad in Croatia on home turf. The glory of the motherland intensifies as you buckle down to football's version of Stalingrad. May the Soviet Union reform as they gear up for the final four. But alas, going scorched earth on the advancing Croatians wasn't enough. The Russians have fallen to penalty kicks. It's still not a bad showing, considering everyone was calling you mediocre as shit. You should be proud. That's why the team is probably being sent to Siberia. Belgium, well done, my friends. You are this close to reaching the final and winning your first ever World Cup. You've got some interesting pieces and an outstanding goaltender to help you out. Unfortunately, your manager failed to realize that France expanded the Maginot line to Belgium. They stifle your offensive attack. Your big brother to the southwest rolls past on their tanks of glory. At least you've got the third place game, right? The legend of England football memes are slowly dying like every other glorious meme we have had. England? Not joking? I don't want to live in such a world. We've already lost so much this year. We cannot suffer much longer. Fortunately, the football gods have answered our call and it's indeed coming home. The team, not the trophy. The trophy got stuck in customs somewhere in France. I know England is filleting themselves because they didn't choke on a softball playoff schedule and made it further than they thought, but eh, I'll give them their moment. To be fair, if I were to criticize them, I would probably be arrested over there for hate speech. At least they can try and get third place. It's Crosshair Bernier! 1-0 to Belgium already! Even in these modest goals, England cannot prevail. As for Croatia and France, the World Cup final is expected to be a tight showdown of wits. Two teams that thrive off the counter-attack and the potential for some to become household names. That was until the second half when France won away with a trophy of three dead lions. All jokes aside, Croatia should be proud of their team. They've made it further than any of their predecessors before them. France may have the glory, but they have something gained as well. National pride. France, however, also gets a glorious trophy. You know what that means, it's time for some riots! Well done, caps. That's another exciting tour of the World Cup. May Russia enjoy financial misery as FIFA rakes in shitloads of cash for being a non-profit. It's one of the greatest scams in all of sport. We will see you all in four years as football's holy grail travels to- Qatar? They're still hellbent on going there? This is gonna be a shit show and a half.